Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another edition of Kale's Corner. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, leave comments. Let me know what you guys think. Um, today, guys, I heard some really discouraging news last night. Um, I wasn't surprised, but I was, you know, kind of, it was like, it was just discouraging. Um, pretty much, um, I had heard that, like, you know, I got some representatives, I won't name any names, that works for a post office. Um, and they were saying how that their sorters, their mail sorters, which apparently sorts 30,000 pieces of mail an hour or some just ridiculously crazy number uh, for a better efficient uh, just processing of, of mail um, are being like yanked out of postal services at the moment. Postal service, the president still refuses to support funding that would assist mail-in voting. Those postal service changes could interfere with mail-in voting. The post office, what am I supposed to do? Let it continue to run badly? So if you fix it, they say, oh, he's tampering with the election. Postmaster General Lewis DeJoy tonight announcing the postal service is suspending operational changes until after the November election. And it's like, well, why? What's the reason? Um, not only does it put each order requires four to five employees to run. Uh, so not only does it put Americans out of jobs at these at government jobs at that, because it's the postal service, you got to think about, okay, how does that affect us going forward? Well, mail will be lagged and, you know, all this. And then it's like, this is a tactic. This is a election tactic. A lot of people are scared to go out and vote um, and to be seen in public or these mass numbers because of COVID. So a lot of people are wanting to submit their, you know, ballots via mail. Well, if your ballot don't receive or get to where it needs to go within a certain amount of time, then your ballot won't be counted. So it's all in an effort to change and sway the election process, the election vote. Um, and no matter who you guys are voting for, man, what I tell you guys is go out and get out and vote. This whole you don't want to be in mass numbers, you don't want to be y'all, y'all expose yourself way more times when y'all going out to eat, picking up this stuff, when y'all are going to Walmart, I've seen families and students, they're starting to play sports again, and y'all are going to all these events, like, do something that makes, uh, makes sense, I mean, you know, yeah, you need groceries and you need this or whatever, but you going to parks and you going to uh, your, your, your kids starting to play all these games. Like, people are like, yo, COVID still exists. Like, there are still thousands of people dying per day. Um, and it's one of those things to where if y'all going to do stuff like that and, oh, well, they need to be back in school for their mental health and their mental health and, you know, they may or may not get exposed to COVID. Y'all are making these life and death situations on things that don't matter. Exercise your right to vote. At one point, women weren't able to vote like it was just one of those things where men felt like you should stay in the kitchen and take care of the kids that's your job you don't even have a say so on what goes on in the government blacks weren't able to vote you know we there's people that died slaved for the right to vote just the right to exercise their opinion so this whole like my vote doesn't matter you know i don't want to hear it you know come election day or come inauguration day and you didn't get the turnout that you wanted but you didn't also exercise your right so understand and realize, man, that, you know, people die to be in the position that you in to have the liberty. So if you're not voting for yourself, man, vote for your ancestors. Vote for your, you know, the people that came before you that didn't have that right, man. Because, like I said, come Inauguration Day, either your voice going to be heard or it's not. And don't be, oh, I'm not going out. I'm not getting out to the masses. That's what they want you to do. They're trying to, like I said, they're trying to slow down. Um, the, the mailing system, they're trying to do all of these things, make it inconvenient or whatever, and all they're doing is just they're trying to rig the voting. They're trying to rig the voting. They're trying to get whoever they want elected, elected once again. So, we already know what happened in 2016. We are like, yo, get out and vote. Don't let nothing scare you or stop you and take your voice away because if you let them take your voice away now, you will let them continue to take your voice away. So, um, I've always heard and been told, you know, I'd rather die standing than, you know, live on one knee or on both knees, man. So please do your best to exercise your right to vote, man, because this is a wicked world. We live in a wicked time, scary times. It's COVID, just all the uncertainty. Like, 
do your best, man, to exercise your right to vote. Um, and more than anything, man, know what you're voting for. Don't show up at the polls and just start clicking. Like, the only thing worse than a non-voter is an uninformed voter. So know, you know, know your your local representatives and, and and people that are on your state board and these laws that are being passed. I've voted before. My first time voting. And, oh yeah, take away this, do this, and then I didn't know the the ramifications of what I was voting for. So like I said the most important, the most, the worst thing more than a non-voter is an uninformed voter. Say, so, man, make sure you inform yourself. I won't you know tell you which way or how to vote how to go but guys get out and vote get out and vote you take so many risks throughout the week throughout the day get out and vote like you know don't mail it don't mail it in they're trying to like i said they're trying to stop that uh if you don't believe me read the article i've attached it to the video but you know all in all man you know god is in control as always positive vibes only this is kills corner once again like i said back with another episode of Kills Corner, real raw, respected. Back at y'all again. Um, public service announcement, you know, positive service announcement, just, you know, whatever, guys. So please get out and vote, guys. Your vote, your vote matters, your your opinion matters, um, and inform yourself. Until next time, man, y'all stay positive, y'all stay safe, and don't forget to register to vote. All right, y'all have a good one.